I may have just jinxed myself. I don't know. Hey guys. So in today's video, I am going to finally be trying out one of my White Mountain puzzles. And I'm really looking forward to it because so far I've already collected about three sets and I've never opened any of them. So today is for sure the day where we are finally going to be working on my pretty much the very first White Mountain puzzle that I picked up. And this one is called Breakfast Table. And this particular set is from the General Mill series. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 24 inches by 30 inches when it's completed. And they also have a stamp shown here, which is their happiness guarantee which is basically where they will replace your puzzle for free if you are not happy. Now that's a pretty cool benefit to buying a White Mountain puzzle. But anyways, according to the box, White Mountain puzzles have been around for over 30 years. These puzzles are made in the USA, and it does mention on the front that they are larger pieces. And on the side of the box, it does give you an image here of their actual piece size. Now, I personally liked working with larger pieces. I think they're fantastic. I don't mind small ones, but you know, with bigger pieces, I kind of feel like it helps me complete it much quicker, mainly because I can see the details a little better within the puzzle piece. Now, first impressions when I saw this image, and mind you, this was actually my very first White Mountain puzzle that I purchased. And out of all the ones that I saw in the store, I mean, this one really caught my eye because for one, I love breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. So of course, you know, as soon as I saw just the name of the puzzle and what's going on here, I had to get it. This is a very retro image. Really, this just could be me and my family. That woman could definitely be me. Yeah, I'm not tall and blonde, but you know, that's okay. I decided to go a little crazy and bleach my hair the night before. I'm feeling pretty good about it. That man looks nothing like my husband. I mean, honestly, I think my husband's better looking, but that's okay too. That could for sure be my daughter. That looks like her. The little boy, who knows? I don't have a son. He could be my nephew or something. But I must say that stack of pancakes looks absolutely delicious. I really don't know why the children decided to eat a bowl of processed cereal. Hands down, I eat the pancakes. I absolutely love this kitchen. And you see those two pots in the back? You know those are gonna be filled with coffee, both of them. I gotta have my morning coffee. I'm still eyeing those pancakes though. We're all just gearing up to have a nice family breakfast, even though the kids are most likely gonna be late to school because the bus is outside and they don't look anywhere near ready to go. My daughter doesn't even have her shoes on. But anyways, in terms of completion process for this particular set, I honestly don't feel like, again, like I said, I don't think this is gonna be very hard. But I mean, I don't know, I may have just jinxed myself and this may take me forever, but I don't think it will because I mean, the detail here is pretty straightforward. I feel like this is gonna be very easy to sort. Again, we have a very clear image here with very clear details. We got bold colors. There's really no mistaking anything here, really. I really don't think this set is gonna take me a long time to finish. Now, with this being my first White Mountain puzzle, you know, I'm very curious how these are gonna feel. How are they gonna look? Is the print really solid? Is it clear? Which I'm pretty sure it will be because again, the image is very clear and straightforward. So I'd be very surprised if there's any issues with how the image looks. One thing I do know for sure is that just putting this image together is gonna be a lot of fun. And it's seriously gonna make me think about having breakfast while I puzzle. Cause you know me, when it comes to putting puzzles together, there's no rules with what you do in order to get yourself ready for it. Who knows, maybe I'll just make some waffles and have a cup of coffee while I do this. That's for sure gonna get me into the mood. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee right now. But anyways guys, hit that like button if you're a fan of White Mountain puzzles. And also, let me know down below, what have your experiences been like with this particular brand? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish there's something they could change about it? And feel free to throw in what sets you've completed. Anyways, guys, I'm really looking forward to finally trying this out. So you know what? Let me stop talking and let's start puzzling. Okie dokes, let's open this one up. Now, this one does have clear wrap, which I realized I forgot to pull off while I was chatting away on my chair. So hopefully you guys didn't get too much reflection from outside. Anyways, let's get this off. Let's open her up. Okay, so, oh wow, these are very big pieces. Oh, this is exciting. Look how big these are. That's great. And 
then we do have a small poster. Nothing on the back. Very nice print. Very glossy. Oh, that's another thought. I wonder how how glossy these pieces are. Am I going to get some glare? But we'll, we'll talk about that when we open it. This is interesting because I kind of feel like the poster itself is actually smaller than the image on the box. But, you know, at least this one doesn't have a bunch of writing on it from the you know all the stuff that you see on the box but anyways that's a nice little touch that'll be useful during our puzzle time all right let's take a look at this bag here oh look at that guys that's quite a bit of puzzle dust whoa check out that dust in there let's open these pieces up inside the box instead of Getting my table all dirty here. Oh, wow. Let me move this over. Look at that dust, guys. Woo! Oh, White Mountain likes, likes them some dust. All right. Now, yeah, these are very big pieces. So you do get quite a bit of glare from these pieces, as you can see here. I hope you can see that at least. I don't really think it'll be much of an issue considering how big these pieces are. I think I'll still be able to see what I'm working with here. I actually did finally, I don't know if you probably can't really tell, but I did sort out my lighting situation in here. So I can actually adjust the light to whatever setting I want now, which is pretty cool because now I can puzzle at night. Aside from glare issues, the pieces are pretty nice and solid. They don't feel weak. Obviously, again, don't put all your might into it like a beast. Even the tabs don't feel weak at all. This is a nice solid puzzle. We have a very nice image print here. It is very clear. As you can see the detail on the cereal box here. I think that's Lucky Charms, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at that ear. It doesn't actually state that all the pieces are, un are unique, but I mean, you do have a good variety of puzzle shapes here. This is what I found so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different shapes. So that's gonna be fun. We got this one too. That's slightly different than that one, but look at this detail. This is fantastic. Again, you could see kind of the glare situation here, but I guess the best way to sort that out while puzzling is kind of changing your angle from where your light is. Other than that though, again, like I stated before, I feel like this is not going to be extremely hard to sort because, I mean, look how much detail you're getting within these pieces. Anyways, guys, I'm really excited to start this one. So you know what? Let me stop playing around with these and let's get started. So sorting this puzzle was pretty simple. What I did was I made a tray for the edges, of course. The second tray was for the family and the dog. Third tray was for the kitchen counters, the wallpaper, and anything that was on the counters. Fourth tray were for the pieces that had the floor detail, the chair, the table. Fifth tray was for the toys and any food boxes. Sixth tray were the kitchen appliances. Seventh tray was the window area. And the eighth tray I kind of left for like pieces that I couldn't quite figure out where to put them at. I mean, but then again, to be honest, this is a great puzzle to just go about without even sorting it. And boy, there was a lot of puzzle dust in that box. But anyways, I was able to move fairly quickly with this step. And then I just went straight into getting those edges together just so that I can have my frame ready. Which really made me realize just how big this puzzle actually was. Now one thing that I kept coming across, and this was actually during my sorting, but there were many pieces that were not actually cut all the way through. It was always two pieces stuck to each other. And that's a fairly common issue that I've noticed with many brands. And of course this led me to having to separate the pieces as carefully as I could. And even though I was super careful, I just kept tearing the darn back layer of the puzzle piece. Thankfully not the actual image print, but still it was a little annoying because if it weren't for this, I mean the whole set would have been in perfect condition. Now, 
I know I could have left the pieces alone, you know, just left them together, but by now I'm pretty sure you know how I feel about doing that kind of stuff. I just like to make sure all my pieces are separated and mixed up just so that I don't feel like I'm cheating or something. Now I don't care if you leave your puzzle pieces like this. I won't judge you. It's just me. I just feel guilty about it. I just, I'd feel like a cheater or something. I know, I'm just weird like that, but that's okay. Now, if you end up damaging your puzzle piece, like I did, tap a little glue on the peeled layer. And you wouldn't even tell that it was damaged. I'm just glad I didn't tear the printed side, because I, I would have been very sad. Now, in terms of the fit, honestly, it wasn't the greatest. To me, the pieces felt more on the looser side. And I had instances where I would put a piece in and if I moved it up slightly or in any way, it would actually pull the other pieces around it out of place. And also I couldn't really move sections that I'd completed on one side of my table to the other because they would just come apart. But for that, I would just use my puzzle scoop to get those areas in place. Mm, that puzzle scoop really does come in handy sometimes. And again, like you saw earlier, this puzzle set does have quite a bit of puzzle dust. So to avoid it going everywhere, I just used the puzzle box to hold the pieces in and it kept my table neat. I just, I just didn't want to get puzzle dust all over it. Now glare was a bit of an issue at times as well. These do have a glossy finish on them, so just be aware of that. But again, it also depends on your lighting situation as well and where that light is coming from. One of the things I loved about this White Mountain set was the size of the pieces. There is no mistaking where these pieces go because you're working with a large printed image. So even if your eyes don't work too good, <laughs> like me, you're gonna be able to see everything. And what helps even more is that the print is very clear, the colors are rich, it's, it's beautiful really. You surely won't need the magnifier on your puzzle scoop for this brand. And plus, they are very easy to hold, which is great for those who struggle to handle smaller pieces. Just check out this size comparison with a Buffalo Games piece. It's not bad. And the pieces themselves are pretty solid, which is important because they're big. So I'm glad White Mountain made sure their big pieces would hold up well. They just need to cut them better so that people like me don't pull off layers whilst trying to separate them. Now White Mountain does have the pretty much the common puzzle piece shapes. Now with that and the fact that they are pretty big, I feel like it made the set very easy to put together. The simplicity of the image helped too, of course. This puzzle took me about four hours to complete. The best way I can describe this experience is it was a quick thrill. And I don't mean that in a bad way. This really was the quickest I have ever completed a 1000 piece puzzle, which was, you know, exciting to me. But strangely, I kind of wanted more time with this set. And I don't know, I guess it was because of the image, because you know me, I just love breakfast. I just wanted to spend more time completing it. And I think it was also because it made me feel like I was a super expert at putting puzzles together because I was throwing puzzle pieces down left and right. I was like super puzzler or something. It was easy, really. It made me feel good about myself and my puzzling skills. Even though I had some issues with this set, in the end, it really did give me a quick puzzle fix. And with it being a 1000 piece set, that's pretty crazy to me. But this image was a lot of fun to put together. And really, it gave me an excuse to snack on waffles at night. But if you haven't already, you should definitely look into picking up a White Mountain for yourself. You can't beat their awesome images, and you don't need a magnifier to see the details. Because, you know, those pieces are so big and st stuff, you know? Anyways, I got some other interesting puzzle videos coming up soon, so if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so that you can catch those as well. Well guys, thank you for watching, happy puzzling, and I'll see you in the next one.